Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining back on your, my YouTube channel. If today's your first time of seeing me, my name is Jacket Tijani, but you can just call me JT. But if it's not your first time, welcome back, my love. As you guys can tell from the title today, I am reviewing slash first impression of the new Revlon. I was just gonna say Revlon color stay. No, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid. Before I show you what the product looks like, I'm just gonna tell you what I get from this card, what this card is saying right here. It's saying it's the photo ready candid. We believe in being candid in everything at Revlon, including our makeup. That's why we are introducing the photo ready candid collection with products that live up to their name by having nothing to hide and everything to show off. What do we mean by that you ask? Yes, I ask. <laughs> we formulated photo ready candid to protect skin by adding antioxidant, antipollutant, and anti-blue light ingredients. And we took our ingredients like parabens, phthalates, artificial fragrances, artificial dyes, and oils. It's creamy, moisturizing, and beautiful to give you an impeccable finish. Because with Photo Ready Candid, what's in is, what's in is, hmm. Because with Photo Ready Candid, what's in is as important as what's out i think they made they, they made a mistake i'm not dumb i think they meant to say what's in it or yeah what's in it is as important as as what's out but it says what's in is never mind we're gonna excuse that typo revlon photo ready candid includes three products in a range of skin matching tones 31 shades of photo ready candid natural finish anti-pollution anti foundation is $10.99 each. 17 shades of photo ready candid antioxidant concealer is $9.99 each. 3 translucent shades of photo ready candid anti-pollutant setting powder is $9.99 each. All of these are available on Revlon.com. We know it's wasteful. Okay, that, this this part is for me, but they say it's saying we know it's wasteful to send a full box of products you don't need. So if there is any other shades you'd like to try, please email yada 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 yada. Um, so that's that. As I said earlier on, it comes in thirty one different shades, and I love that. We all know we love that. So I know we love when you know brands are very inclusive with their shade range so i'm really glad Revlon is doing this i think they've always done that before anyways um i just don't know if they've gone this dark before so the darkest shade is espresso um that's the darkest shade right there it is really really dark i do not have the darkest shade but however i will show you the shades that was sent to me i will send three different shades I was sent three different shades. Um, the shade that sent me are 500, 510, and 530. Um, 500 is the almond, 510 is cappuccino, and 530 is pecan. Um, I did kind of swatch it a little bit, tiny bit when I first got it, um, but I don't remember exactly what it looks like. I can't remember which one um, fit me. Um, it comes with this foundation brush I was sent one of their concealer and this is the shade cafe 065 cafe and then I was sent the new photo ready candid anti pollution setting powder and this is the shade 001 right here so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I went ahead and did my brows. I went ahead and did my brows and my eyes off camera because y'all, you guys can hear the boy. Y'all pray for me, these boys. I went ahead and did my brows and eyes off camera, obviously, uh, because this is about the foundation, not my eyes. Um, so. When I'm using new foundations, um, I like to treat it just the same way I treat any other foundation that I use, um, just so that I don't get thrown off. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if this comes with a primer, but since it's not here, I'm guessing there's no. 
since it's not here i'm guessing there's no primer for it so i'm just gonna use what i typically use i'm gonna do that real quick um i'm gonna start by using the skin the nivea primer spray and then i'm going to go in with the dr brand's pose no more primer Obviously, I am too excited to try this foundation. I should have swatched it first before putting my primer. But anywho, each foundation comes in a tube with a cap and a pump. That like it doesn't get better than this. This is so easy to travel with. Um, you get 0 0.75 fluid ounces. So since I already prepped my face, I'm just going to um, swatch it on my hand and let's hope that works. This is 500 almond. Let me do the inside. I'm going to do the inside of my hand. That's 500. This is 510 cappuccino, I believe. 510 cappuccino, yep. Yeah. 5.30 pecan. Those are the three shades that was sent to me um, I think I will be fine with um, cappuccino for sure um, maybe summertime I could use pecan or probably in the summer I can mix the two shades together but um I love how pecan looks you know right here but I'm afraid if I use pecan it might be too um, dark it doesn't say it oxidizes but um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with cappuccino. I'm just gonna pump some into my mixing plate right here. Um, I would have loved to wash this brush before using it, but oh well. The brush is really, really soft. I love that it's a flat top. You guys know I love to use flat top brush to apply my foundation, so that's a plus. To be on the safe side, to be on the safe side, I love to be on the safe side. Because I'm going out, <laughs> I'm going to mix a little bit of pecan into cappuccino just to be on the safe side. If I wasn't going anywhere, I would probably try cappuccino on its own. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to mix it. I don't want any surprises, you know, later on. That's a really good match. I'm glad I mix it actually. I generally love to mix my foundation. Uh, even on my clients, I feel much more like I love when I mix their foundation. It's just that no one is just one single color. Um, so mixing foundation is never a problem. To me. So this is just one layer of the foundation. Definitely it is a medium coverage. It's not giving me that full, all the way full coverage, um, but I'm gonna put it to test to see if it's beautiful. In terms of the shade, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to add one more layer just to see, you know, if it's beautiful. So this is the second layer. It is definitely beautiful, definitely. Moving on to highlighting. Like I said earlier on, the shade that was sent to me is 065 Cafe. Um, the packaging is very similar to the foundation. Um, let's just, oh, oh, so it comes with a wand. That's impressive. I'm just hoping this will be a perfect match in terms of highlighting.
just like every other concealer that I use, I love when I allow the concealer to set a little bit on my face before I go in with my damp beauty blender to blend it out. And this gives me a fuller coverage when I do this. Not bad. Okay, now moving on to the setting powder. Okay, um, the setting powder comes in like a little jar like this, just like every other setting powder. And then it has this upper tab thingy, and then it has one on the inside. I love, love, love this idea. If you travel, like you're traveling anywhere or travel with your makeup, you know how messy setting powders with just this can get with this extra cap on here this is gonna save you a whole lot this particular shade that they sent to me is 001 and it has a lot of pink <laughs> pink undertone um i have never used a pink undertone um setting powder before um the thing the lightest i've used is um laura mercier so impressive wow very impressive very very impressive i am impressed with this it feels super duper soft what's in it I kid you not guys like it is so soft wow I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face using the same powder I use when I'm using like drugstore foundations which is the LA color mineral press powder and this is the shade toasted almond I'm going to quickly finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to contour, add my blush, do my lipstick, and then I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on this foundation. All right, dolls, this completes the look. Okay, now let's talk. The one thing out of these three products, which is the foundation, the concealer, and the powder, the number one thing that I know I love right off back is the setting powder. I cannot believe it's actually the one I love because, like I said, it has this pinkish like a soft pink undertone so I did not think it was gonna work for me but it did I love I love 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 the finish of this it's like this velvety finish like it feels so duper duper soft like I can't explain the softness like it feels like you know when, you, when you're touching velvet that's how it feels on you know feels like I put velvet on my eyes like, I don't I don't know what's in this I've never ever 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 I've never used any setting powder like this before I've never you guys know I use Laura Mercier I use Bernard Banana powder I use I've used the Beauty Bakery I've used the Sasha Buttercup I've used many powders but my staples are either Laura Mercier Buttercup the, the Sasha Buttercup or the Beauty Bakery this feels different from those three that are my favorites this is definitely going to go in my favorite list and I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know if it's going to be Laura Mercier this or this before Laura Mercier. I don't know. That's how good it feels. It feels so velvety. It feels super duper soft. It's it's set that concealer like perfectly. No creasing, no nothing. Um, now, I do not know how this is going to work with other concealers so that's one thing I need to try first before deciding if this is going to be in like my number one setting powder but with this particular concealer and the foundation and the powder this is the bomb diggity um the concealer i wish it was a tad bit more yellow i love my under eye concealer a bit on the yellow side um this is too a little bit too cool for me maybe if i try a shade you know 
up. It might give me the color that I'm looking for. Um, the foundation, I love the finish. I am glad I mixed the two shades together. I'm glad I mixed cappuccino and pecan together. Um, it gave this is giving me the perfect shade that I love. Um, it's not too light, it's not too dark. Um, it feels like it looks and feels like I have on like you know eye and foundation, and this is just drugstore. I love the finish, I love 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 this. Um in terms of how it feels on my face, it's not cakey, it's not drying, it's not dewy, um, it's just right. It, it's just right. It's just how I like my foundation. Um, so I'm going out right now and I'm going to be out in the sun. Um, it's about 72 degrees today, so it's not too, too hot, but it's still hot. I'm going to see how this wears um, and how long it lasts for. This is 144 p.m. So I'll be right back. Not right back. <laughs> so I'll be back later on. I'm going to I'm going to try to be back later on to tell you guys. Hopefully I'm not too tired after running after the kids. Um, I'll be back later on to let you guys know how it's wearing and all that stuff. The hair I'm rocking right now is um, the same hair from my previous video, um, which is the Mercy Hair Extension. Malaysian deep wave um, like I told you guys in that previous video that I did wand curled that hair In that particular video, but this is the natural state of the hair you guys see how it bounced right back All I did was just wash it and let it hair dry and this is what it's giving me I'm gonna stop talking like I said. Alright guys. I'm back as I promised. I am extremely tired and I just in my bed right now, but I promise you guys I'll be back, so I'm back. This is it's currently 8.49. That's the time, right? So it's been seven hours. This is seven hours where of me being outdoor, of me chasing my kids up and down, chasing my children up and down, walking down up and down the park and all that stuff. So I have really, really put this foundation to test. I believe in my own in my personal opinion, I believe I've put it to test. Um so so let's get into how it looks right now i know on camera it still i believe it still looks good but in person it looks slightly different and what i mean by different is that i'm a bit oily around my nose i'm a bit oily on my forehead um that's about it and my cheeks also i'm a bit oily like i'm just oily like around here and then my forehead and with this level of oiliness a little bit of blotting a little bit of powder can fix this it's nothing too much it's something i'm not bothered by because it's not extremely oily um it's just like my like my natural oil just coming through and it's just making the, my face look glowy and dewy nothing too crazy i promise you guys um the powder part like my under eye where i put the powder it still feels it still feels super duper soft um i don't know what they put in this powder but it's the bomb. This part, of, this part of right here is the bomb. I can always try it with other concealer just to see how it performs with, you know, other products. Um, what else? The foundation did not look like it oxidized. Um, if anything, I feel like it blended more into my skin complexion. Uh, for a foundation that costs $10.99, I am not mad at it at all. This is worth the coins, so <laughs> it's not bad at all. It performed well, so yeah. I think that's about it um i'm not sure if i'm going i think i'm going to um email them so they can send me other um other shades just so that i don't have to mix um my shades but we'll see about that i'll let you guys know how that goes but anywho i am tired i need to get the boys to bed and i need to go wash my face and shower and call it a day I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this information was helpful to you guys. Um, if you do try it, do let me know how it's working for you. Like I said, my favorite out of everything is this setting powder right here. I seriously love it. If you guys can get your hands on it, please grab it. Grab it now, 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 and now. I am definitely going to go buy more. Don't stop rambling. I always ramble. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching those and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.